the so the main thing I want to talk about. Oh my god, I can't wait to talk about this. Is uh -oh. Cyberbang 2069? <laughs> what the hell is Cyberbang? <laughs> you did pure research for the pod. I think your comments said. It was literally just research. Didn't want to play it, but you know I do it for you guys. <laughs> what the hell is Cyberbang? Is it a par now? I'll tell you. Uh, so oh. you might have heard of it because there's a few nope. of the bigger gaming yep. news outlets have started to pick. I think it's been out a while, actually, but they're just starting to kind of pick up on it. So it's a, it's a visual novel slash fanfic by Triple Thirst Studios, who are <laughs> cyberpunk fans and clearly Triple ladies Thirst, after my I own heart. <laughs> I think it's, um, I think it's uh, just three girls that make it. Um, oh. Yeah, so essentially it's, it's like a dating sim. Um, if, if it will eventually focus on a bunch of characters at the moment, as far as I know, only male ones at the moment, it's only um, Oda that you can play, and then Johnny and a couple of the others had have demos. Um, but this was actually made with the permission of CD Projekt Red, who they've, they've got sort of clear outlines regarding um, fan work, although it's not endorsed, they're completely within their rights to use the artwork and stuff for um. What the fuck is Cyberpunk? this? Because they want a game that works out there. <laughs> so you've actually got this really, really nice artwork in the, the proper sort of um, cyberpunk backgrounds. Um, but yeah, as I said, it, yeah, you've got a full story that surrounds Oda and it's Takemura, sorry, Johnny Silverhand, and there's going to be one for Victor Vector as well. Um, and I was slightly disappointed that I'll have to wait for Fifty Shades of Silver. You know what I'm saying? Shit, silver, amazing. It's not called that, but it should be. They can have oh. that. I'll let them have it. Oh. Um, now I should make something absolutely clear. This is not a tacky five minutes bank. This is not cheap smut. This is a fully fledged epic tale of romance. And honestly, Ooh. there's a lot of exposition before you get to the banging. I was surprised. It actually is banging. <laughs> That was a very Frank Reynolds way of putting things. <laughs> I mean, it's true though. There, there was a lot of preamble before the the bang inside well, the in real life. A bit of well, preamble before always. the fumble. Yeah, not always no. Now I actually reached out to uh, Triple Thirst Studios to ask <laughs> how I should describe love. this. <laughs> <laughs> to what ask how of, I should describe this reach? to our <laughs> predominantly male audience. <laughs> and Bean, Bean. Who is the story director? Kind of got back to me, and Bean said, "The biggest thing is that with a project like Cyberbang mm -hmm. and seeing the reception, people are clearly not quite prepared to play games made by an uh, an almost so it's not all, all females, almost an entirely female dev team. Our vision and priorities are a little bit different than other games in a similar genre, so eighteen plus visual novels. And I believe that's why we've achieved success with our story because we're sensitive to, to human connection." And what it is that makes your heart beat a little bit faster. So while the name and concept is a bit campy, we want to make players feel like they're in an experience where they're appreciated and cared for. So it's actually quite sweet. And honestly, after playing Oda's story, I feel like they did achieve that pretty well because I felt my knees go weak a couple of times. Did you get your fanny beat in? Mm, I think <laughs> that towards the beating section, the fanny got a flap in. Wow. <laughs> wow. Nice. Um, <laughs> my fanny beats out of five. Do you know what? When that happens, we'll beat and you're not expecting it. It's just. <laughs> I have to say though, I did have one slightly horrifying sort of crash back to reality. Um, uh -oh. You know, one of those moments where you're, where the screen goes dark, and I was kind of presented with a reflection <laughs> of myself, much like now. So what were you glass, doing? I had a glass of wine and a spliff in one hand, and then the other hand I had in a packet of bugles. You know, one bugle on each. <laughs> yeah, finger. yeah, yeah. We've all been there. <laughs> I think Wearing Google's dirty pajamas, kind snacks. of like flumped in my chair, and I just looked and I thought to myself, "Well, at least I don't have a cyber girlfriend called Becky." Hey. Hey. Hey.